Steve Harvey, a prominent figure in entertainment, has seen his fair share of personal and professional challenges. Among the most talked about aspects of his personal life is his relationship with his wife, Marjorie Harvey, and the persistent divorce rumors that have surrounded them. Steve Harvey and Marjorie Bridges first met in 1990 at a comedy club in Memphis, Tennessee. Harvey was performing on stage when Marjorie walked in, capturing his attention. He reportedly paused his performance to acknowledge her, famously saying, I don't know who you are, but I'm going to marry you. Despite this memorable encounter, their romantic relationship did not begin immediately. They went their separate ways, each marrying and having children with other partners. Years later, after both had experienced divorces, Steve and Marjorie reconnected. They began dating, and their relationship quickly blossomed. Steve and Marjorie married on June 25, 2007. The union brought together their blended family of seven children, Steve's three biological children from previous marriages, Brandy, Carly, and Broderick Jr., and Marjorie's three children from her previous relationships, Morgan, Jason, and Lori. Marjorie Harvey has been credited with being a stabilizing force in Steve's life. She has provided emotional support and has been instrumental in helping him navigate the complexities of fame and family life. Together, they have worked on various philanthropic endeavors, including the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation, which focuses on youth education and empowerment. The couple is often seen together at public events, exuding a sense of unity and mutual support. They have also collaborated on several projects, including hosting events and working on their foundation's initiatives. Marjorie's influence is evident in Steve's personal growth and the expansion of his brand. Despite their seemingly strong relationship, Steve and Marjorie Harvey have been the subject of numerous divorce rumors. These rumors have surfaced periodically, often fueled by tabloids and gossip columns. Speculations about infidelity, financial disputes, and personal differences have been rampant. Although none of these claims have been substantiated with concrete evidence, Steve Harvey has addressed these rumors on several occasions, dismissing them as baseless. He has expressed frustration with the constant scrutiny of their marriage, but has also reaffirmed his commitment to Marjorie. In interviews and on social media, he has spoken about the strength of their relationship and their mutual dedication to each other and their family. Marjorie Harvey has also addressed the divorce rumors, often through social media. She has shared messages of love and support for Steve, countering the negative narratives with positive affirmations of their relationship. Marjorie has emphasized that their bond is strong and that they are focused on their family and their future together. One of the significant challenges Steve and Marjorie have faced is navigating the complexities of a blended family. With seven children from their previous relationships, ensuring harmony and unity has required patience and effort. Both Steve and Marjorie have worked hard to create a loving and supportive environment for all their children. Being in the public eye means that every aspect of their relationship is subject to scrutiny. Steve and Marjorie have managed to maintain their privacy to some extent, despite the constant media attention. They have learned to navigate the pressures of fame together, supporting each other through the highs and lows. Harvey attended Kent State University and later West Virginia University, but he struggled academically and eventually dropped out. His early career was marked by a series of jobs, from selling insurance to cleaning carpets, none of which brought him satisfaction or financial stability. One of the most challenging periods of Harvey's life came in the late 1980s, when he became homeless. For three years, he lived out of his car, showering at gas stations and swimming pool showers. Despite the dire circumstances, Harvey continued to pursue his passion for comedy, performing whenever he could secure a gig. His perseverance during this period exemplifies his determination and resilience. Harvey's big break came in 1985 when he won a national comedy competition. This victory led to a series of opportunities, including hosting Showtime at the Apollo, which significantly boosted his profile. His career in stand-up comedy flourished, leading to his role in the Kings of Comedy Tour, alongside Bernie Mac, Cedric the Entertainer, and D.L. Hewley. The tour was a massive success and solidified Harvey's status as a leading comedian. Harvey's personal life has been marked by turbulent relationships and legal battles. He has been married three times and has seven children, including stepchildren. His second marriage to Mary Shackelford ended in a contentious divorce in 2005, leading to a highly publicized custody battle over their son, Winton. Mary Harvey accused him of infidelity and financial improprieties, which Steve denied. 
The legal and emotional toll of these disputes has been significant. Steve Harvey has also faced personal tragedies, including the loss of his parents. His father, Jesse Harvey, passed away in the late 1990s, and his mother, Eloise Vera, died in 1997. The deaths of his parents were deeply impactful, as they had been foundational figures in his life. Harvey has spoken publicly about the pain of losing them and how their memory continues to influence his work ethic and values. In addition to emotional challenges, Harvey has faced health issues. In recent years, he has dealt with chronic back pain, which he attributes to the physical demands of his early life and career. Managing his health while maintaining a grueling work schedule has been an ongoing struggle. Steve Harvey's current marriage to Marjorie Bridges, whom he married in 2007, brought together their blended family of seven children. Harvey has three biological children from his previous marriages, twins Brandy and Carly and son Broderick Jr., and four stepchildren from Marjorie's previous relationships. Navigating the complexities of a blended family has required patience, understanding, and a commitment to fostering unity among all the children. Harvey has been vocal about his role as a father and the importance of supporting his children in their endeavors. His daughters Brandy and Carly have pursued careers in wellness and public speaking, while his son Winton has shown interest in photography and art. Harvey's guidance and support have been instrumental in helping his children carve out their paths. Marjorie Harvey has played a significant role in Steve's personal and professional life. She has been a stabilizing force, helping him navigate the challenges of fame and family life. Together, they have worked on various philanthropic endeavors, including the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation, which focuses on youth education and empowerment. As mentioned earlier, Harvey's erroneous announcement at the 2015 Miss Universe pageant was a major public embarrassment. However, his accountability and humor in handling the mistake helped mitigate the damage. Harvey's meeting with Donald Trump sparked widespread criticism, especially from the African-American community. Harvey later expressed regret over the meeting, acknowledging the negative impact it had on his image and relationships with his audience. The contentious divorce and subsequent legal battles with Mary Harvey brought significant media attention and public scrutiny. Despite winning the legal disputes, the allegations and public airing of their marital issues were damaging and emotionally taxing. One of the most infamous moments in live television history occurred on December 20, 2015, when Steve Harvey mistakenly announced the wrong winner at the Miss Universe pageant. As the host, Harvey initially declared Miss Columbia, Ariadna Gutierrez, as the winner, only to correct himself moments later and reveal that the actual winner was Miss Philippines, Pia Wurzbach. In January 2017, Steve Harvey met with then-president-elect Donald Trump at Trump Tower. The meeting, which Harvey described as focusing on inner-city issues, sparked significant backlash, particularly from the African-American community and his fan base. Harvey explained that he was invited to discuss housing and urban development issues, particularly in underprivileged areas. The meeting was facilitated by Trump's transition team and aimed at exploring potential collaborations for community improvements. B. The meeting was met with criticism and skepticism. Many questioned Harvey's motives and accused him of betraying the African-American community by appearing to align with a president who had been widely criticized for his views on race and social justice issues. Harvey later admitted that the backlash was severe and that he regretted not considering the broader implications of the meeting. The controversy strained Harvey's relationship with some of his audience and peers. However, he continued to address the issue openly, emphasizing his commitment to community service and clarifying his intentions. Despite the backlash, Harvey maintained his numerous hosting and production roles, demonstrating his ability to navigate